All right, guys, it is way cold today. This is like hair growth cold. So it's going to get worse eventually, but it's in this 50s. Uh, it's rained. We got an inch of rain, so we got a bunch more water, which is great. But right now, it's just two and a half acres. We are going to have this be for the bulls eventually. And so when we get the handling facility done and we start working them, I want to be able to have a place to put the bulls. So while I have some extra helpers and my brother, we're starting this. My brother showed up with his boys and all of his kids and there was a bunch of weed pulling and we worked on the fence. So what we decided to do is we outlined at the corners, generally we put six posts, one in each corner. And we put them out here at the top. One of them is just over here behind me. And then we went out towards the south and then around the back side. I figure while you have all these kids here, from the city it's just nice to make them do some work and they did a good job so we got a bunch of these posts done some of them are pretty difficult to actually work in all right so my brother and his family came out to visit and brought all of his kids and they wanted to try the ranch experience well my brother did congratulations you filled your own hole <laughs> we were making progress i'll measure it after you're done i'll see if you have more dirt in the hole than there was before <laughs> we were going. So and of course, he wants to uh, have his youngest son is super eager and wants to try it first. And he obviously <laughs> experienced what it's like to dig a hole. He's running out of <laughs> So my brother's in green, and we're using a one-man auger because I didn't want to get the uh, front end loader auger hooked up because I'm mowing. So. Naturally, I gave it to him since I've done that, been there, done that, and it hurts. And as city slickers, they need to understand what it's like. So we've got the first hole in already. We're working the second hole. And it's not the easiest soil. Somewhere. Stop. I could hear it too. Okay, now you need to tamp it with that rod thing again. Thomas did a great job. The soil was way not compliant. Not the uh, butt of all jokes, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Grant helps out. So, <laughs> the soil was very hard to work. But uh, yeah. I thought this would be a great time to work as in a supervisory capacity. Is that what nope, nope, nope. Is that what let the kids do it. All Put your knuckles together. together. Yep. Because <coughs> they obviously need some help. And keep them wide, it builds the pecs. Oh, yeah. Chicks big pecs. And give them some life lessons. What? Well, you get what? What is That's it? That's why I came over here. Okay, now when you level it. So you're going to pick front side or front side, I don't care. Yep, there. So That's there, good. That's yeah. good. Now you got to swing over. Go 90 degrees. degrees. It's not good anymore because uh, it's not, not good. too bad. So if you kick a little dirt in, it kind of helps hold the bottom. A little dirt, not all, right. all the dirt. So kick a little dirt in and start tamping a little bit and then he's going to reset it again. Yeah, other side. This is the corner post. It's only the most important post there is. So no pressure. If you suck, my fence falls over, my bulls get out. And kill people. Yeah. Not another. You would just bring it over? Uh, yeah. I'm bringing it over to my side. Good. See how he's... No, I can't. It's stuck. Can't yeah. stay in there. Okay, it's... All right, second post done. There's only four more. And so really, it rinses and repeats. Aaron does this. It's not plumb. And then the kids do this. Okay, so you'll feel a little resistance. Yeah. And that little resistance, you're able to then shift around a little bit easier. And then the hole number three. We just rinse and repeat. Can I nail it as hard as I can? No, because yours is not as hard as his. But I can still nail it hard. You could. I can feel it inside of the hole. Because that side is that concrete, that rock ledge. Now this part is where we have all the uh, trees that were mulched. And Aaron is going to struggle on these last two. And they were quite a beast to deal with. Part of the reason why we're actually doing it with the one man also is that some of the terrain back here gets really kind of crazy tilted. 
and it doesn't make sense for us to use the tractor in it. First spot here, no go. Second spot, no go. Third spot, here's the charm. And that's as far down as we could get. I'm, I'm like pushing down on it, and it's not. Yeah, so we had to use the bar a lot, and it took forever, but we got it all done. What we're gonna do while they're still here today is we are actually gonna be running some barbed wire between these, and that's gonna give us that straight line between the corner posts, and then we're gonna start working on clearing out that line. So we're probably gonna have a person weed whack, clear out some of that, um, and then also we've got some down trees in the back that we're gonna have my brother clear out as well, and get all those things out so we can kind of start making this a pasture. In the meantime, I'm gonna mow a little bit of it to try and help clear that line so we can set all the barbed wire a little bit easier and then I am gonna go mow. Anyway, keep with us. Let's get some footage of that going on. All right, so we've got the first barbed wire wrapped. We've got it upside down, girl. That is upside down. You gotta flip it over. There, now don't let it flip over on itself. Now she's gonna roll the mess all the way to the other post. If I can find the other post. Well, go find it. Okay, so we cut the line. But we need it to go straight. All right, Sandra's down there, and Thomas is on the other side. Now we're gonna pull and straighten and pull and straighten and before we kind of wrap around this post. Yeah. Okay, now we've got the line pretty straight. Now we're going to take it along this post and just kind of wrap it and then we have where to put our post, T-posts. Okay, so he's all wrapped. There is Grant and the next post right there. So this isn't that far of a distance. So we'll go ahead and walk this line to get it set up. I'm gonna leave these guys here. We got a crew here to remove all these trees. My brother's got the chainsaw. Everybody else. And what we're gonna do is we're loading all these branches behind us in the trailer. And so we're gonna be towing those out. So it's just land clearing time. These are debris from when a year ago we mulched it. And then a few trees that have tipped over since. We're gonna kind of clear it out and get it all clean. So. The crew's doing this, and I'm gonna go back and start mowing again. Okay, so I'm with Jeff, and we're out um, mowing, and this is looking like to where two and three would be, and one is kind of this way, and we're interested in possibly looking for a house location um, eventually out in one, so what we're gonna do right now is kind of mow out, give us a path, and clear out a spot and see what we can find out there.
can get this cleared out. ridge and so we can see it's getting kind of clear we're gonna get a feel for what the landscape is and if there's anything we want to do up here but as Jeff's cutting around the edge of the perimeter over here um, he's trying to get close to the edge but not too close because things start kind of falling off the edge let's go check out the edge and uh, see some of the view and not too far distant is where it starts really dropping down. So this is definitely an area that like he could get a little closer. But obviously we're not going down there. Now it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see if we can get you a view. We're high enough that we've got this beautiful view over the little hills surrounding us. Um, it's actually really nice up here. We just really enjoy the view and the peacefulness of our ridge. It's just really nice. We really like it. So while we've been mowing, they've been bringing trailer loads of those uh, big uh, tree piles over. Looking good. This is what we already had. So this is the new addition. Let's go see how they're doing down there. I guess the chainsaw lost the chain. So that's part. It's been still going on some of the big stuff, but still making progress. Beetle. Oh. I couldn't tell you what kind. Look 
do the Norse competition. Yeah, where you like pick it up and throw it as high as you can. Yeah, do it. I was looking at them like, that's a bad place. Drive you home. Oh, I get to drive. Well, oh, I'm already there's driving. two trees right here. Okay. The one over there. And we got those two. I don't want to have a car. <laughs> we got in your catch basement right there. We got three out. We got three small ones. No. Ish. Yeah, okay. But they're full length. And then we started getting partial of this guy right here. So this is just mainly this guy here. And you get the pile over there, which we were going to, and then the little pile over do there. after we got these. Oh, way over there. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this little small pile in here. Yeah. And then, then I would swing over there, swing back down there, and try and get some more. Quickly, Abby. Lorna, oh. bring over here. Are you coming over here? Okay. Yeah, take that one out. Oh, this one got here. I've been trying to do it. You got that, Lorna. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot. I'll tell you if you didn't, I was going to take out yours. Yeah, bring your stick hand over here. Or oh, Actually, I'll do it over here like this. Okay. Over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Murray, you're gonna have to get on top of that. Just pile climbing up that is. We've been challenged to a duel. Abby, I'll take sour patch. Well, your own children. Is this so good? I want to put your. Uh huh. Bit by bit. To the ground. No, you're good. It was just fun to watch. Thanks for the for the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put your back into it. Yeah, yeah, put your back into it. <laughs> it went up a centimeter. Good job! Yes! You got it. Unmatched strength. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I got one worker. Oh, wait, there's more than one. <laughs> one worker making a mess? Is that what that is? We're on the other side of the track. Mine! <laughs> <laughs> nice, honey. Ooh, you were rejected by the branch. All right, Clark, work it. Work it, work it. That's right. Work it. Thanks, Dad. Oh, no, no, yeah, thanks. Oh, no, no, no. Looks like a dead plant. Tony looks giant. Yeah, it's like a huge plant. Looking thing when you hold hey, it up. Christmas tree. Funny. Is it your birthday? No. No. Where'd you get that? It was just in our property. Oh, I just blow it around. Yeah, I just Somebody lost their birthday balloon. Yeah. Stole it from them. Well, I just steal it. She stole it. How old are you on the candles? Ah, five. You're five. Oh, you're so big for five. Yeah, it's so big. <laughs> All right, that's, that's got to go trash so the animals don't get it. Yeah. I'll keep it for now. Yeah, I'll get it. Well, it's going to roll to you. I'm trying to not have it roll out. That was a bit. I'm sorry. What? Uh, Nothing. The horses are having children. No. A doggy. A doggy? Yes, a doggy. A doggy? A doggy.
Hey, I'll kick back towards you so you can back. come back. I can't lift that. So what do I do? You watch. Don't hurt. That guy's heavy. Okay, as the day wraps up, guys, we went over and took everybody to the place that we just mowed all that stuff out. Um, that's where, of course, the house is hopefully gonna be if everything works out well. The views are great. We found a little path, and we decided, of course, to follow it. It's beck and call, right? We went down there, and of course, it's treed, all sorts of terrain, and uh, it was really nice, actually. The creek kind of flows, and I think it's just whatever rainfall seeps through the ground kind of comes out there, and it just has created a creek over time. Anyway, that's a fun place to explore. So we got a bunch of mowing done, we moved some trees, we got some things just kind of done with all the people that were here, and so that's been a positive day. So mower's back up and running. Good day, right? Anyway, we're gonna catch you next time. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Black Acre. Bye.